Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Now we decided to do an extra build today just because the mythical Pokemon Petron just came out for people who have the DLC. So there's actually going to be an extra build this week. So we're going to be running the Poison type Terror and the Held Item Shell Bell to restore health throughout that raid. You can get this from the Lavincia Deli Bro Shop. The damage we do, the more we heal. EVs in special attack and HP, modest nature to increase that special attack even more. And then we're going to go with the max IVs and everything except for attack. The ability is going to be Poison puppeteer if we poison an opponent with one of our moves they will also become confused then it's signature move a melanin chain i'm not sure how you pronounce that right but we gave it a best shot so it's got 100 power 100 accuracy and a 50 percent chance to badly poison the opponent very very strong move and then when it does poison him it will confuse him and then after that happens we will switch to venom shock which will do 130 power if they are already poisoned and then we'll be poisoned quite a lot Acid Spray to lower their special defense and Nasty Plot to raise their special attack. It's going to be a very, very strong poison type. Possibly the best poison type on the game, but we'll see. Let's get into a raid. So we do have a six star grass type crowd on. Let's get straight into it. So I think crowd on removes negative effects quite early. So we're going to use Nasty Plot first. This will raise our special attack by two stages. <laughs> going to use Crunch on us. It will be super effective, but our defense is so high. Going to use Nasty Plot again to raise our special attack by another two stages. We get hit with another Crunch. And then we're going to use our signature move, Malignant Chain. Malignant Chain. It does a lot of damage. It, we can't poison him, unfortunately, because he's paralyzed from the actual The Dunce Pass. He removes negative effects from himself. That's what I was waiting for. He does drop our defense, which is unfortunate, and he hasn't even used Lee yet. We're going to use Acid Spray here to lower his special defense. It does a lot of damage considering, like, it's got, like, what, 40, 50 power? He's got a nullify us, that's fine. The mixture of Nasty Plot and Acid Spray makes it very nice that if you know the combination of what he's going to do, then it's it doesn't really matter too much. So he gets a crit on us and then uses Lee. This is quite a troublesome. Hopefully his shield doesn't go up just yet. Okay, so we're going to use Malignant Chain. I will probably call it something different every time. So we do manage to get the 50% poison and it will also confuse him. So the shield does go up. So for some reason the poison has gone, even though it didn't say remove negative effects. So we're going to Terrestrialize and use Malignant Chain again. I think that's the one we're going to go with, Malignant. Sounds like, sounds about right. So it's going to be really rough. He's probably going to take us out if we use Soul Stance and then attacks because we're on minus two defense. Do we get the poison this time? We get the poison again and he's confused. Then we're going to go back to full health with our Shell Bell. Hopefully he hurts himself in confusion in his actual attack or his Soul Stance. So he doesn't hurt himself in confusion on his Soul Stance. Let's see if he hurts himself in confusion on his Crunch. Be pretty unlucky if he doesn't. Right, okay, he doesn't. But he's no longer super effective against us because we terrestrialized into a poison type and we're not a ghost type anymore. And now we can just finish it off with a Venom Shock. It should finish it off. This will be a lot stronger than the Malignant Chain. There we go. Having that uh, easy poison and then the 130 base power for the Venom Shock is so good. I'd definitely be using this Pokemon a lot. He crits us with a crab armor from full health and nearly takes us out after the raid was already over, but doesn't matter because he's, he's gone. Crab is no longer with us, but his spicy Mystica and his ability patches are, wow, that was incredible. And we happily take those more Mystica and ability patches to the collection. But yeah, this Pokemon, debatably the best poison type on the entire game. Let me know if you think there's a better one out there. I don't think there is off the top of my head. But I hope you enjoyed this bonus build for the week. It felt like a necessary time to do it. Smash the like button if you have enjoyed this one. It does go a long way. Subscribe and turn on the notification bell so you don't miss any more builds. And I'll catch you on the next one.